Hello internet. Welcome to Lifestyle Infinite. Today we will be fixing and upgrading my 2017 MacBook Air A1466. The internal PCI SSD died all of a sudden. So, I am planning to replace the dead SSD. While on it, I will be upgrading it to a higher capacity one. So, if you are wondering how to introduce disposable electronics in your life. Step 1, get a Apple product. Step 2, do not opt for the apple care step 3 wait for some time for the device to fail eventually step 4 go to apple authorized service center and ask them to quote the repair cost step 5 have a mild heart attack step 6 give up and buy another apple product congratulations now you have an expensive paperweight if you are not happy with the outcome scour the internet for apple proprietary connector to universal non proprietary connector cross your fingers buy the parts and fix it yourself press the power button now you are in a schrodinger's device paradox the device is dead and alive at the same time if you are lucky you will have a functional device without apple care coverage else you have a more broken device minus your investment in parts and tools keeping that in mind let's begin apple has a notorious reputation for using proprietary components without the proper screwdriver bits you will not be able to open the laptop so make sure buy one set of screwdriver bits specifically designed for apple products After you have identified the correct screw bit, open the back panel. As the screws are of different lengths, remember the location of the screws. Otherwise, it will be difficult to put the MacBook back together after fixing. After opening the back panel, you will be greeted with the internals. The majority is covered by the battery. This explains the excellent battery life. The motherboard which Apple calls logic board can be found at the top. There you will see the PCI SSD. In my MacBook repair video, I pointed out the lovely relation between Samsung and Apple. This reinforces the same. It also has a Samsung SSD straight from the factory. In true Apple fashion, the screw securing the SSD is different Apple proprietary bit. After you have identified the correct screw bit again remove the internal ssd carefully if you look closely the physical size of the ssd is larger than the commonly found m.2 ssd which can be found off the shelf and the connector is also wacky apple has specifically manufactured this ssd to keep end users away from upgrading it with off the shelf components if the user ever wants to upgrade its capacity they need to pay at least 5 times more to get a compatible ssd nice job apple thanks to chinese reverse engineering we have adapter which converts off the shelf m.2 nvme ssd to apple proprietary ssd for replacement ssd i will be using A Data XPG SX6000 Pro M.2 2280 PCI Gen 3x4 SSD with 250 gigs of capacity. It also comes with a metal heat sink. It's thin like a piece of paper. I don't know how much it will help. I will still install it just to be safe if there are any components on the SSD which might short if not used. As you can see side by side the off the shelf NVMe SSD has a completely different pin layout thanks to the third party adapters i will be able to convert it into a apple proprietary SSD the adapter kit comes with 
the necessary screws and bits to mount the NVMe SSD on it. Now it's time to carefully install the SSD on the adapter board. Carefully installing the SSD onto the adapter board and the adapter is slightly larger than the internal SSD. So friction fit it is, I will not be able to use the screw to secure it back. After stitching the MacBook back together, let's install the operating system. I am very surprised to see that no installation media is required. If you have an active internet connection, you will be able to download the latest macOS supported on your device. macOS Monterey is the latest macOS supported by my MacBook Air as of now. After following the on-screen steps, we will be up and running in about a couple of hours. As you can see, the new SSD is reflecting in the storage details. Seems like the operation is successful. We are up and running now in less than one-fourth the cost quoted by Apple. And the upgrade from 128GB to 250GB is a bonus. Like the video if it helped you or you got to know something useful out of it. A sub if you loved it, it helps the channel a lot. I am working on more content like this, so stay tuned, peace out.